Hello everyone, Apple Buff here. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get a clean iOS 6 setup on any device running on iOS 14. So without a further ado, let's jump straight into the video and check it out. In order to get iOS 6 set up on your iPhone running on iOS 14, you need to make use of two apps, WidgetSmith and Shortcuts app. To begin with the home screen customization, you need to make use of the Shortcuts app. Within the Shortcuts app, you need to create a new shortcut by clicking on the plus icon given above. Then click on Add Action. Select the option for scripting from the list of options given below. Moving on, click Open app as your action. Since it's the first app shortcut, let's create it for the app store. Click on the three dots and then select Add to Home Screen. Here you are supposed to give the name to your shortcut like here we are going to name it as App Store. To add a picture, click on this little icon present over here and select the image from the Photos app. That should represent the App Store. Once done, hit Add and then click Done. Now you have the first app shortcut ready that's dipped with the look of iOS 6. For the other apps too, you have to repeat the similar steps. Please note that the customization of the home screen would take time, but at the end it will really look good. After spending so much time, that's how the home screen of my iPhone looks, completely wrapped in iOS 6 icons. Plus the app shortcuts which I created are completely functionable. That means whenever you click on either of these, it will take you to the modern day app. Just to add a little bit of Steve Jobs effect, I've set a widget featuring him. And for this, I made the use of an app called Widget Smith. For that, you need to open the Widget Smith app. So when you open the Widget Smith app, there are three size options available for your custom widget. You can choose any one of them. I will go with the small so that it gets accommodated with the apps easily. After clicking on the small widget, you have a quite few options available for the widget look you want. I'm going to scroll down and select photos. Then select the photo from your photos app and then hit save. Once done, you can long press on the home screen, hit the plus icon, scroll until you find the option for widget smith. Click and select the size of your custom widget and then add that to your home screen. The reason I love this setup is because apart from flexing among your friends that you have iOS 6 styled apps or app icons, you can anytime slide to experience iOS 14 which is really cool. With that being said, this is Apple Buff signing off. Catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.